Okay, so task three. Um, essentially, just making a query. There's nothing too uh, difficult for this. The thing slightly unusual about it is that usually you will be given copy to do it. This time, it wants you to find orders are overdue as of today, as of doing the paper. So it's slightly different. Um, and obviously the answers are going to be different every time you do it, and every day is going to change a little bit. Um, but, apart from that, other important information is that you only want to show the message to people who already are definitely overdue, and overdue orders that have also not been dispatched. So let's just do this, will we? Um, we want to create and create sign, and it's all based on orders. Everything you need is in the box there. So we want the order number, the order date. The date required. Dispatch stats number of days. Date required. Dispatch stats and the number of days. And the field specifically is called number of days of the um, So you just want to keep this as as possible just for the sake of um, accuracy. We will need to add underscores in. Um, actually I'll tell you what, we'll just call it days of the due. That's a better um, accurate thing. Uh, we're going to use the date function to get today's date, and from the date function, we're going to subtract the order date. Where's the date required? Um, date required, sorry. And click on that. You should get a certain number of days for each one of these. You only want ones that have not yet been dispatched, so you click here is false or no. And so when we run this, all of these are quite large numbers. Um, when the actual exam came around, it was different. So you need to have greater than zero as well. So a greater than zero. If you want days, any order that's currently more than zero days over two. So if we view this, we can see that. You will want to screenshot this for your selection methods so that you can show the examiner how you did this and that you want to save it up and have days over two. Or whatever. Um, as always, we're going to then turn this into a report. I like the report wizard, some people don't, but so we want to got the correct fields already. And these are in the correct order. There's no grouping. And it started ascending by order date. Most recent order date has to be first. Uh, you're gonna run this query, you're gonna miss some links. Tabular is absolutely fine for most situations. So I'm modify design. So at the bottom of the report, you want to include the days of the due. So it says days of due. Um, if there's time, you might want to sort of make this transparent and make it look like the other information on the page, because uh, there's marks available for having a good presentation of the quality of that. Box and for the style, it's all 
Gonna want this to be no decimal places as well. Two, five decimal places. Yes. Just obviously don't get decimal points for the. Oh, that didn't work. Sorry. I guess I can force this. Um, okay, so you can sort of manually fire it. So, um, if you use the so when you manually format, you can use the letter zero is for any number, hashtag is for any alpha numeric character. And I believe L is for any letter. I need to double check that out. Anyway, we have that set up fine. Fire. Anything else to put in here? If your selection methods, as I said before, you need to screenshot your query. You also need the evidence to back you for doing this. Um, I'm not going to do the IDs and stuff because they're for names and strings. And then you print the report for one thing, and this harks back to here. All the documents you produce um, should include the logo. Okay, that's another page one. So we want to also insert the logo. Should be three centimeters. Oh, sorry, I can't type. And that gives you your logo. Um, you want to put a uh, put. You want to put a suitable title in here. Um, items or whatever you want really as long as it kind of explains what the content is how uh, your name etc and that and that is done you would file print and clear like that and that's about it so just save this and